I've got a face mask in case it's very cold out. Yeah, in here, just in here, I have some Tylenol. Okay, I got a brush and comb and personal hygiene things. Now, I'm not gonna, in this bug out bag, I don't have any first aid. That's another separate little bag with band aids, painkillers, you know, things of that nature. You know, uh, gauze tape, gauze, things like that. It's a whole separate bag that I have. Okay. Deck of playing cards. You may be stranded for long hours in certain places. This will help take your mind off stuff. Safety match, or not safety matches, but waterproof matches. Okay. Zippo lighters. In the Zippo lighters, I have extra flints tucked down into the underneath the felt of the lighter. So there's lighters, matches, flints. Pepper spray will repel dogs. Some people, you know, it'll, it might give you the the moment you need. If you're being attacked by somebody, this may give you valuable seconds to get away. Pepper spray. Okay. In here, I got my portable water filter. These cost around thirty to forty dollars. Basically, this thing has a straw and a carbon filter, and you could drink straight from a mud puddle with this thing. Here, I've got magnifying glasses, a mirror for signaling people, and also some reflectors and uh, you know various reflectors off a bike for signaling people, signaling back and forth. Another reason why you want to have these magnifying glasses, not only starting a fire, if you ever get a splinter in your hand, without getting that splinter out, that could actually cost your life. You could die from a splinter out in the field. So you definitely want to have magnifying glasses. Sock. Long Johns. These will keep you warm when it gets cold out. A pair of long johns. Definitely want to have that. Bandana. Okay, I have a little solar panel that I could use for charging up a cell phone or charging up a flashlight or, or basically to charge things up. I mean, to have something like that, you'd have to have a little extra knowledge of uh, how to hook up the circuitry for it. Of a calculator, a solar powered calculator. Okay, got my old buck knife. It's about 30 years old. And we have a retractable saw. This thing will cut down branches four inches thick. I'm sure you can even go f further. This could be instrumental in helping you to build a, a tent, build a uh, some sort of den in order to keep yourself dry. Got a clothesline with some clothespins. Basically, this is a little retractable clothesline that you can use to dry your stuff if your clothes get wet. You may not need something like that, but of course a flashlight, LED flashlight. Cinch ties. Cinch ties make things a lot easier. And another little knife for fishing, whatnot. Wine or some string, whatever you want to call it. And a little thing of rope. I don't know, 25 feet of rope. So that's basically what's in there. 
my little steel container here. There's all kinds of little tidbits. You're going to want to have a compass. Whistle for signaling people. And you'll notice on the side of here, I also have another whistle on the side that hangs on the side of the bag. So in here we have a compass and a whistle, a little air and water tight thing. We've got an extra DC charger to plug into a car thing that you can hook up. And believe it or not, you can, if your battery is dead in your car, you can hook this up to that solar panel and plug it into the charger and it will slowly trickle charge your battery. Maybe just enough to get it started if it dies. Okay, got a little tiny razor knife. We've got multiple sets of clippers, toenail clippers, fingernail clippers. Some of those I use for fishing, some of those I use for the, for the, uh, you know, for fingernails. Little measuring spoon. And we got a magnesium fire starter here. So allow you to start a fire in wet, damp conditions. Crazy glue. This is just an old, you can see the sides have fallen off, an old Swiss Army knife that's uh, fairly old. I've got needle and thread for buttons and sewing. I've got this piece of an old clipper and it's good for cutting stuff. It's a serrated edge. There's a little box cutter. Got some twist ties. Another Zippo lighter, separate from the rest in case one gets one gets lost. Here's a pencil sharpener. More twist ties. Uh, I got an extra tape for my voice recorder because I'll be recording this stuff during the hall. I've got uh, valves for filling up air things. They could come in handy too. And an extra slingshot uh, band for my wrist rocket. So that's pretty much what I have in my bug out bag. Now you're going to want to custom tailor that to whatever you may want to have in yours. But these are some of the basic essentials. Um, you can also add a pan for cooking your or boiling water, a little, little tiny portable pot, you know, for boiling water. It really all depends on what you want. These are some of the basic essentials that I have in mind. And uh, that's pretty much the gist of it.